In this video, as we move past the second week of May 2024, we'll once again showcase some amazing new Skyrim mods. Today, let's kick things off by introducing some quite astonishing outfit mods. First up is Rudolph Bunny. This mod adds a women's nanosuit outfit. This outfit has a very stylish and modern feel, designed with remarkable materials that beautifully accentuate the character's body. The helmet, resembling a rabbit and allowing the hair to be visible, complements your hairstyle well. Moreover, the back features various fusion cores that enhance the outfit with electrical effects, making it even more striking. Considering pairing the Rudolph Bunny outfit with your Skyrim character to make them even more unique and astonishing. Next up is Mistral. This mod adds a suit outfit with a harmonious blend of gray and red colors. Among the accessories, the multiple branching hands may seem a bit bizarre, but you can choose not to wear this particular accessory, and the suit's design itself is quite decent. Reminiscent of Asuka's suit from Evangelion, this suit has an overall excellent texture, with the blade-like accessories at the heels being particularly impressive. I acknowledge that such a nano-suit outfit might not fit the unique world of Skyrim, but if we set aside the lore and judge the outfit on its quality alone, it's remarkably outstanding. It was so impressive that I couldn't resist introducing it to you through this video. If you like it, I encourage you to try it out. Next up is the HDT SMP, Female Amulets and Necklaces Vanilla Replacer. This mod replaces the existing models of necklaces and pendants, adding physical movement to them. It also activates missing cube map reflections and mask features for some necklaces and pendants. The addition of physical effects to the necklaces and pendants enhances immersion, ensuring they do not clip into the character's skin, thus appearing more natural. While it may seem like a minor feature, once you try it, you'll find it greatly appealing. The mod also activates cube map reflections for some pendants, improving their appearance. As an ESP-free replacer, it can be installed or removed at any time during the game, so feel free to use it without any hesitation. In this segment, we're excited to introduce various interface-related mods. First up is the Skyblivion lockpick menu. This mod completely overhauls Skyrim's lockpicking system. Drawing inspiration from Oblivion's original lockpicking and ESO's Tumblr-based system, it introduces a new method designed for the Skyblivian modding project, allowing players to experience lockpicking in Skyrim in a fresh way. Success hinges on correctly pressing each pin into place, and the mod includes new sounds, an auto-attempt feature, an integrated UI, and adjustments to some of the vanilla lockpicking traits. This ESL package mod comes with full controller support, offering a more interactive minigame that rewards players who enjoy engaging gameplay. Try out this mod to add a new level of fun to your lockpicking adventures. Next up is the modern weight menu. This mod completely overhauls and redesigns the in-game waiting and rest menu with contemporary UI elements. It introduces a new way to select time through an interactive time wheel design, allows for more intuitive time selection within the menu via a hoverable cursor, and includes a weather indicator to display the current in-game weather conditions, fully revamping and redesigning the waiting and rest menu experience. Next. I'd like to introduce some gameplay-related mods. First up is Dynamic Weight SKSE. This mod allows players to fast-forward time in real time by pressing a hotkey. Unlike the traditional method, where you had to press the wait button and then select the waiting time from a menu, this mod makes time flow quickly in real time as soon as you press the designated hotkey. It's made solely as an SKSE plugin, without an ESP which means you can install or uninstall it during the game without worrying about plug-in load order conflicts. While the standard wait button allows for breaks in one hour intervals, this mod enables real-time waiting, making it incredibly useful when you want to take a quick rest. The hotkey and the speed of time can be adjusted through the INI file. And since this feature is quite handy, you might want to give it a try. Next up is the Fire Ignites Arrows mod. 
This mod introduces a feature where arrows are ignited when brought close to fire. When you fully draw the bow and bring the arrow near fire, it will ignite. If the arrow is kept near the fire for more than 10 seconds, it will burn up and disappear, causing the character to stagger, and the fire will be extinguished once the arrow is removed. I believe this is quite an immersive mod, and if there's fire nearby, it can be utilized for more strategic gameplay. If you want to add more immersion to your ranged combat, I recommend trying out this mod. Next up is Unarmed Hotkey SKSE. This mod allows players to switch to an unarmed state at the press of a hotkey, without the need to use weapons or spells. Pressing the hotkey again will re-equip the previously used weapon, enabling quick and easy toggling. The default key is the period key, and the hotkey can be customized via the INI file. If you prefer to play as an unarmed fighter, or simply wish to avoid the hassle of disarming through the inventory menu frequently, this mod will be incredibly useful. Try switching to an unarmed state conveniently with the hotkey. In this segment, we'll introduce you to mods related to visuals. First up is the Skyking Riften Complex Parallax Texture Overhaul. This mod is a texture overhaul designed for the Riften area and the Ratway. It offers new textures for Riften and the Ratway allowing users to choose from 1K, 2K, or 4K resolution textures, depending on the desired effect, along with a parallax option for a more realistic 3D effect. It is compatible with other city mods like JK's, but it should be placed after other texture mods in your load order. This mod provides a high-quality visual overhaul to Riften, adding a fairy tale like fantastical feel that will elevate your experience of the city. Next up is Skyking Shalador 4K Textures. This mod provides new 4K resolution textures for the statue of Shalador, located in front of the College of Winterhold. The new textures are significantly sharper than the original, enhancing the marble texture to bring a greater sense of realism within the game. Installing this mod will make the iconic location at the College of Winterhold stand out even more. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the creature-related mod called Dryads. This mod is the latest creation by the creator Mihail, adding a new monster called Dryads to the game. These Dryads are nymphs of the forest, guardians of flowers and trees, and they protect the sacred land where everything in the forest grows. Dryads are very powerful in combat, utilizing their sharp and long claws made of sturdy wood and summoning explosive wisps containing toxic spores from the flowers and mushrooms that inhabit the forest. They can also summon bears to aid them in battle, making them quite challenging. But this adds more diversity to the Skyrim ecosystem. Therefore, I encourage you to enhance the Skyrim ecosystem further through such creatures. Thank you for watching today's video featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the second week of May 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content, and until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring.